swim meet again today. Stacy was the big star. Great. Yeah. I wish I'd been there. Looks like Tony got his computer out of here, huh? Yeah. yeah. We had a real good talk this afternoon. Oh, you and Tony had a really good talk. It's not his fault Lorna got pregnant, right? Of course it is. He admits that. But now he's trying everything possible to do what's best for everyone. Oh, he's doing a great job with Stacy, Doug. Mike, the bottom line is they still love each other. She loves him. That's right. After he got Lorna pregnant. Yes. And now she's trying to get through her hurt and anger to see if she can forgive him. Forgive Tony. That's right. And if she does, then we have to respect that decision. Both of us. Doug, it's your kind of thinking got her hurt in the first place. She keeps listening to you. She's going to get clobbered. Hey, congratulations on your victory there. Thanks. Doug, what are you doing? Ah, I'm making my specialty just for you. Vegetarian stroganoff a la Donovan. Oh, no, that's okay. I can make dinner. Is this a polite way of saying you don't like my cooking, huh? <laughs> no, of course but, 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 I can Then do don't it. interrupt with the creative process, if you don't mind. All right. Good evening. Hi. 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 Congratulations. I heard you won your swim meet today. Yeah, thanks. That's great. Yeah. Oh, Jimbo, are you going to join us for some stroganoff on the Donovan, huh? What's in it? Don't ask. Just enjoy. <laughs> Come on, I've had enough for a whole army here. Okay, thanks. Uh, oh, Mike, I'm going to be going over to the settlement house after dinner, play a little basketball. You want to come co help coach? No, I got a, a date for dinner with Chancellor. Hey, wasn't that a great idea that uh, Cabot Allen had? I mean, about the fashion show becoming a benefit for St. Henry's? You guys are going to have a good time working together. <laughs> I'm going to go outside, take a walk, get some air. Pretty cold out there. You okay? I'm me good. Yeah, I'm fine. I just have a lot of thinking to do. Um, you guys check the flame. I'm going to take this out. Sure. Are you going to go see Tony? Oh, no. I'm not quite ready for that yet. I know it's a lot to ask. Yeah. I just have to be really sure I can forgive him before I walk into that commitment again. Bye. Would you take this out? You know, that Rubinaccio kid's a little chubby, but he's not a bad basketball player. Oh, he's great. He's just got this attitude problem. Hey, uh -huh. you guys just missed Jack. No, we caught him as we were pulling up. Yeah, just long enough to get him to promise to come back to the settlement house to do a little coaching. <laughs> good, good. Listen, I've had a very long day, and I'm going to go to sleep. Well, tell me, how do you feel? Good. I've reached a lot of big conclusions. If you're awake in the morning, I'll tell you. Okay. Good night. Good night, Father Jim. Good night. Pleasant dream. Thanks. Good kid. Yeah, the best. And she just keeps her balance through some rough times, you know? Yeah, I couldn't help but wondering how you felt earlier when Mike was going on about his date with Shane and how beautiful she was and everything. I felt a little strange, of course. And Mike had no idea Shane and I were anything but friends. Uh -huh. I just hope. What? Well, this might be my ego speaking. But I sure hope Shane is not leading Mike on to get back at me. Get back at you? For what? for telling her that I think it was better if we just don't see each other for now. Well, I hope she isn't either. I mean, Mike's in no shape emotionally to be able to have someone play games with him like that. 